So here we are on the roof of my rig and uh, we're going to do an inspection today on all the sealants, uh, all of the uh, air conditioners and things of that nature. Now in the AC units today we're not going to take the covers off and do a full cleaning but we're just going to inspect make sure there's no damage to the covers, that a tree didn't crack it or something like that. I did have an issue and I'm going to show you here in a second with one of my Max Air covers uh, that did catch a tree and I apologize for the sunglasses but really bright out today so uh, I have to wear them it's just a little too bright without them so let's go ahead and do the uh, inspection now just a couple things to point out I'm going to show you here in a little bit if you do have some areas that are of concern you need to refill them with some flowable caulk I'll show you what that is I have the links below here uh, for all the equipment that I use you can check it out if uh, you think that'll work for you as well so let's go ahead and get started and we'll show you how we inspect. So, but before we get started, I apologize. It is quite breezy up here today. So hopefully you can hear me well. I'll try to speak up. So what we're doing is we're looking at all these areas that are caulked. If there's any cracks or areas where water might be sitting um, and might cause an issue down below. Now we got a couple little dents right here. Uh, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, nothing's protruded or anything like that so we'll leave those alone they'll be fine I currently do not have any leaks that are visible on the inside so we're okay so here as I crawl around you can see this front seam looks pretty good so another area to check out is where the gutters are and you can see the gutter right there now you see I have a crack in the caulking right here that's not that big of a deal because it's on the outside but for abundance of caution I think I'm gonna to try to get a little caulking on there I don't know how well it's gonna work because it's heading downhill but we'll try to put a little caulking on there but all in all this looks very good the other side we see the gutter all looks good while I'm up here, I always look at my awning toppers, make sure there's no problems with them. And you can see they're attached, there's no tears. All looks good. Bunched up there a little bit, that's not a big deal. They're all clean. Check the other side. It all looks good. This little guy, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a patch they put here or what. But uh, I have no idea why it's here, but I keep checking it. And again, it's all sealed really well. There's no issue of water coming through the sides. Everything is good on the caulking. You gotta check the caulking, make sure it's not peeling up anywhere. It's all good. And while you're up here, and I caution you to be very careful when you do this, is you look down the side of your rig. See how you can see all the way down? You wanna look for ripples. If you have any ripples there, that's not a good idea. That's basically you've got some delamination going on on the sides of your walls, which means you had water penetrating, water leaking. Um, that is an issue. You don't want that to uh, be on the sides of your walls. We look good on our unit. So now for the so now for the air conditioning unit I just kind of look back here not sure how these little dents get in there in the fins but they happen from time to time. These look pretty good. I cleaned them about four months, five months ago. Those dents weren't there so I'm not quite sure how they got there at that but everything looks good on that, both on the sides and in the back. Now this is my uh, digital antenna. Everything looks good around there. The seals all look good. Nothing coming up on the sides. OK, 
Okay, one of my vents. Again, everything's good on that. This AC unit, looking very clean, pretty clean too. Doesn't need any service at this point. I clean my AC um, fins back here and take the co covers off here and clean this up about once a year. And like I said, I did it about four months ago. So we're all good to go there. So now I'm checking my other little antenna. All looks good. No issues there. Here's my 3G, 4G antenna for the LCI system on board. Uh, they have a built antenna and you've all heard me already. This system they have in here is garbage. It's antiquated technology. Even though it's a brand new unit, uh, LCI needs to definitely upgrade what they're using here. Um, but everything looks good here. While I'm up here, I will tell you, I'm planning on changing this antenna out. I'm gonna be putting a 4G, 5G antenna up here. Uh, and we'll be hooking that up with one of my new Wi-Fi systems that I'll be sharing with you in another video. All right, now here is the one issue that we had found. <laughs> and I did a quick repair. It's just my Max Air cover. And uh, something hit it, not sure what, a branch or whatever, but it cracked it and shattered it. So I went to order a new one, and wouldn't you know it, they're not only hard to get, but the ones that are available, these are normally $45, $49. They want $150 to $200 for them right now because they're hard to get. So a Gorilla Tape will work just fine for now. <laughs> and as soon as the price gets normal, I'm going to order another one of these and I'll put a new cover on there. Another one of my vents. All looks good. It's all covered. My other Max Air is already, I already inspected that, that looks great. Here's the shower, skylight. Everything looks good here. I go to the, make sure, I make sure there's no caulk peeling up anywhere. And it looks good everywhere. So we'll inspect the last vent. Everything's solid and all looks good. And we'll go back to the last AC unit. As I mentioned, I don't use this one much. It just kicked on, so I apologize if it's loud up here. But it is rarely on and uh, it looks pretty clean still. So the inspection up on the roof is complete. Oh, I forgot to check the last slide topper down the lines look good down the wall no bubbling no rippling so we don't have any delamination so that's it that's how you inspect everything on the roof now if you had an issue and you needed to fill up with some of the caulking I'll show you the materials down below here um, you just simply open it up and just let the caulk flow into those areas and it'll dry in a few hours be good to go it's that simple if you should have had a tear here on your roof uh, you want to get some of this product right here and it'll basically be permanent it'll seal up the hole if you hit a branch or something and you have have a tear you got to repair so this product works great I had used to have a roll but <laughs> somebody came into an RV park all damaged up and I gave my roll so he could repair it all helped him do that and I never replaced my roll so I got to order another one for myself so and that's what we do for fellow RVers if they need something you got it you help them out so before we get off the roof here let's go ahead and take one quick view all the way around All right, now that we're back on the ground, let me talk about a few of the things that you're going to need should you have some areas you need to repair. Obviously, as we just inspected my unit, there's no issues, there's no repair needed. But if you did, 
first thing you're going to need is a caulking gun. Um, why? Because you're going to need this 1021 self adhesive caulking, or self flowing, I should say, caul caulking. Um, although they call it self leveling, I'm sorry, I call it self flowing. But this uh, 1021 self leveling sealant or caulking uh, is really what you need on this type of a roof. And uh, you basically, just like any other caulking, snip the end off and let it flow into the areas. You don't have to overdo it. It'll flow and settle in there. Um, I recommend you clean the areas out. If there's a little dirt and stuff in there, take a little soapy water, no bleach or anything like that. Just clean that area out, let it dry, and then you use the caulking here to fill it in. When you're done caulking, because you're not going to use a whole tube, if you do, then you have other issues that you need to address. But you need to get one of these, and these are these airtight little caulking tubes. And I'll show you here, I've already got one in there. And once you're done with it, you slide it in here, just like that. And you close it up and seal it tight, and that stays nice and uh, sealed as, and keeps everything from hardening up. So that's all you need to do. And if you want all these products, by the way, they're gonna be in the link again below, where you can find these and all sorts of other products that we have in RV maintenance, repair, upgrades, things of that nature. So that's it on roof repair. But I'd like to get into another topic, and that is things to be aware of. That is things to be aware of when you're doing your inspections. Um, we just did the roof, but as I walk around the rig, I notice other things. Uh, for example, you look right here, you see I've got some wallpaper that's kind of curling or rip, I don't want to say ripping, but it's kind of moving like things shifted, the wall shifted or something shifted. So that's a little bit of concern. I'm going to look into that and figure out what caused that. I know there's some settling and shifting, but didn't expect to see some of this uh, crumpling up of the paper. In addition to that, um, I had the supports that holding the f fender skirts on around the wheels. Those were falling off and come to find out at the factory when they installed them they didn't put a long enough screw in there so the screw was only holding one or two threads and vibrations and shifting it just fell out and the bracket fell out and almost caught one of my tires which would have gashed the tire at high speeds and we could have had a major disaster so it's very important to always inspect your tires everything around the tires and your rig before you take off um, I'm going to show you a couple of samples of what that is here in a minute. So what I'm talking about here, you see a little hole. There used to be a bracket here that held this from flopping around. Like there is here, even though it still flops, it's not as bouncy, if you will. And the bracket that was holding this on had basically come off from inside here. I'll try to get the camera in there because the screw they put in there was way too short. It should have been a little longer. And the bracket swung down here and was basically banging in between these two tires. So I took that off. I have to basically pull this back, re-drill the hole because the, they didn't drill all the way up through the, the frame where it's supposed to go on. It was just on this little piece right here. And then put a screw all the way up in there and then put that bracket back on. Fortunately, I do have the bracket so I can reinstall that. But this is what I'm talking about is caution, RV cautions. You got to make sure everything is sealed and everything is tight and secure before you hit the road. Obviously, I always inspect my suspension system here, all the brackets and everything before I go. Obviously, we check the tires, tire tread, things of that nature. Okay, another often overlooked item to inspect is your pin. Now, this is the Moride system here, and I actually am very, very happy with this system. Uh, it works well with basically this big piece of rubber in here allows the blue plate, which the pin is attached to, to move back and forth this way, as well as back and forth this way, as well as this way. So both, both axes, it pivots, and it's very, very smooth. There's no bucking with this hitch. At least I don't have an experience that. But I always inspect this. Make sure there's no cracks in the welds. The bolts are all tight. 
inspect all these bolts. They're still at the factory marks. They haven't shifted or moved. Obviously, when we put the uh, breakaway on, I inspect all this, make sure this is all working, and all of that. So I inspect everything before we take off. Last thing you want is to be pulling away and something here fails. All right, so those are all of the uh, basic inspections you should do before you move, as well as how to do a roof inspection. Hope this was helpful to you. Before you go, I'd like to make a couple announcements. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of you who are watching and have subscribed and leave your comments. Um, things are going very well with the YouTube channel. Thanks to all of you. Uh, we, are, we have hit well over half a million views and we've got over 56,000 hours of viewership. And I think I've had uh, over, what is it, 45? 4,500 comments and I've responded to each and every single one of those and I think I've had uh, 78,000 or 80,000 somewhere on there likes so so I can't thank you all enough for uh, all of your support speaking of support uh, I'm going to announce that very soon you're gonna see a little button down below here that says join uh, we're creating three different levels of membership and those memberships are basically to help support the channel, but most importantly, the top tier membership allows you to have additional discounts on some of the products I recommend. Um, I've worked uh, an arrangement with these manufacturers to provide me some coupon codes that I can provide to you to get some of these products at even a bigger discount than what you may already get, be able to get. So when you become that level of a membership, you'll get those codes automatically, um, and they'll be automatically email to you uh, when you just simply reply and request for those. In addition to that, at that level, you're also going to have access to some free merchandise. Yes, I said it. We're getting some merch made up, some shirts and some hats and things like that, some mugs and things. So for those of you on the top tier membership, we'll get some free merchandise as well as uh, a few other perks. But we'll have more about the memberships here in another video, but let you know that that is coming. And speaking of merchandise, uh, very soon Joanne has been busy putting together uh, some t-shirts and some hats and things of that nature and there's going to be some uh, some shirts and stuff that will be available to everybody but in some of the whatever tier membership you are there's also going to be some specific items that are exclusive to you. Uh, so you can have some exclusive hats or shirts or things of that nature. Uh, as well as some products that are going to be exclusive to you only. Stay tuned for all of that. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that little like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to notify you when I'm releasing the next video. Again, thank you all for your support, and thanks for watching, and have a great bucket list day. Goodbye. <laughs>